Hi, I'm Michael Holstein, a senior product marketing manager in the next generation productivity and portals team in the modern workplace at Microsoft. Welcome to this session. And today we're going to talk about employee engagement and communities in Microsoft 365, where we'll discuss how Yammer, SharePoint, Stream, and Microsoft Teams work together to deliver a modern workplace solution to engage employees and accelerate cultural transformation across organizational silos, geographic boundaries, and the ever-growing remote work styles. So let's get started. Effective leaders know that it's people, not technology, that drives success. Technology simply amplifies the creativity and innovation of people. And in an increasingly volatile world, resilience depends on the agility and the responsiveness of your technology and your people. But leaders tell us that it's harder than ever now to connect people to drive culture, drive organizational change, and workplace communication, to scale their vision and align people towards shared objectives, and to foster shared values and a culture of inclusion and participation, and to harness expertise so that people can share knowledge and find answers. Ultimately, driving innovation by crowdsourcing ideas and working together. So these are the pillars we're gonna focus on when we think about employee engagement. Your business continues to evolve at a rapid pace, driven by competitive pressures, market realities, and external forces like COVID-19. And through all of this change and uncertainty, having a clear and effective corporate communication strategy has never been more critical. And internal strategy has a direct impact on employee productivity, on collaboration across the organization, and on employee engagement. 90% of executives understand the importance of employee engagement and look to their communications teams to help them achieve that. But worldwide, we see employee engagement is stagnant at just 15%, with a majority of workers feeling out of sync with the company's strategy and the latest news coming out of the business, costing millions. So let's talk about how we boost employee engagement using Microsoft 365 tools that you may already have. Yammer, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, and Stream are the applications that we're going to focus on today. Yammer is our tool for building communities so that you can share knowledge and build relationships and deep conversations across the organization and beyond teams, beyond departments, and the geographical silos that you may be working in. With SharePoint, you can make it easy to have a fast, beautiful, mobile-ready internet site and reach a broad audience with your events, your campaigns, product launches, and company news. And with Microsoft Teams, of course, it's our hub for teamwork, where you can stay connected, you can get your work done with chat, calling, meetings, and files all in one place. For many in our increasingly digital work life, it's our app that brings everything and everyone together. And of course, video in Microsoft Stream, where you can create and share videos with all the security benefits within your organization, build training playlists, integrate video across the entire suite, and leverage powerful AI to unlock that content. And we'll talk more about some upcoming changes to video that we have in just a few minutes in this presentation. Let's take a quick look at our playbook. We'll start with driving culture and navigating change. Management and employees at all levels must work together to achieve organizational goals. We'll look at how to drive organizational transformation and quickly adapt to external and internal changes from the top floor to the shop floor. Then we'll look at sharing information and engaging people, how we connect and communicate in open communities, which foster relationships and conversations. And in volatile times, how we send clear, direct two-way communications between leaders and employees at all levels to provide everyone with the information they need to be successful and to stay safe. We'll show you how to do this by sharing news and information, targeting communications to specific audiences, and building dialogue and feedback mechanisms that connect and strengthen the relationships between people on the leadership team, people out in the field, people in retail, and all levels of the organization. And then we'll move into our third pillar, how to exchange knowledge and crowdsource ideas using Microsoft 365 to create an inclusive culture where people openly share their expertise, work together to solve problems, and accelerate innovation. And by capturing and retaining that knowledge exchange, 
you can harness the collective insights of your business. So these three scenarios and outcomes require connecting people beyond their work group, empowering the work uh, the workforce to react and respond more quickly, and ultimately driving stronger employee engagement. That's why communities matter. Culture is critical to attracting and retaining talent, enabling company strategy, and helping the entire workforce achieve their personal and organizational results. It's critical to a company's mission to create and reinforce a sense of purpose and mission to make a difference in the world. And here at Microsoft, if we're to, our, to achieve our mission to empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more, we know we need to be unwavering in our efforts to build a diverse and inclusive organization that encourages participation from everyone. Yammer helps make sure that everyone's voice is heard. It flattens hierarchies and helps people find new ways to connect. To achieve this, we need to align people around leadership's purpose and goals. We need to build ongoing two-way communication. We need to communicate consistently about the company's mission, its values, and its strategic initiatives. And we need to host live events or town halls that bring together all of the employees and get them moving in the same direction. And we need to get the word out about announcements so that our organization understands new updates and new policy changes. We'll start in SharePoint, where we've created a leadership connection site using a site template. Here we can add pages for our business needs and include resources and handy links. And as we scroll down, we'll see a Yammer web part with conversations and questions coming from our leadership community. As we get to the bottom, we can see some timely news and updates pulling from SharePoint across the company. Now let's go back up and see what all the discussion is about. It looks like a town hall is starting. So as I click, I jump directly into the live event in Yammer. And here I can watch the live event or watch it on demand after and engage in the discussion below. Behind the event, Rich AI helps unlock the content and add captions, and it can support tens of thousands of concurrent viewers from anywhere in the world. But I have a question for this particular one. So as I type and retype my question, I can add coworkers and rich text and links like any other conversation. But I'll simply style this one as Q&A and submit. So now I'll go back into the leadership community where our senior team connects with the rest of the company. I can see a cover photo and a variety of questions and posts. I could share announcements, pin posts, feature important conversations, and engage with employees from all levels of the company. Let's take a look at how recent innovations help this all come together in Microsoft Teams, the hub for teamwork in M365. So we can click into our new SharePoint app pinned to the sidebar and see our intelligent internet with full access to our news, sites, pages, and everything else we need. And across the top, we see our leadership connection site. And if we click in, it will take us directly to the site that we were just on, complete with our interactive Yammer discussions here within SharePoint, all inside of Microsoft Teams. But that's not all. Let's jump over to the new Communities app for a richer look at the new Yammer. From here, we land in our totally reimagined home feed. We can see polls, we can mute or feature conversations coming from different communities, a helpful tool for corporate communicators, and see various discussions as they're pulling from the communities that I'm a member of. And on the side, I can click into our Leadership Connection community, which we've now set as a favorited community for quick access, and see the questions that we had just asked in our live event. And now, you can replicate what you saw here today with new site templates in SharePoint. Simply go to the settings, select site template, and choose from a variety of out-of-the-box experiences that make creating portals in your intranet easy. You can hit preview and get a glimpse of how it will look, and then apply it to your page. Then it's simply a matter of point and click and replace the content with your organization's own resources. And voila! So now we've looked at how to create a leadership portal and how to spark some dialogue using communities and broadcasted moments. But let's take a deeper look at live events 
something that more and more businesses are turning to, to create immersive and authentic moments. In Microsoft 365, there's a variety of options. They'll suit your needs, your budget, and your recording capabilities. With Yammer, Microsoft Teams, and Stream Live events, you can host do-it-yourself events using webcams and screen sharing, or a full-scale professional production. All of these scenarios support viewing live or on demand from almost anywhere on virtually any device. Let's take a deeper look at live events in Yammer, which bring together members of the community for discussion before, during, and after the event, and can take place in public communities or private communities. We've added some discovery tools to help attendees see when live events are happening in real time, both on the sidebar and in the main community feed. So let's jump into this event. We have a new side-by-side -side view, which helps attendees focus on the video and participate in the conversation without having to scroll and, and lose sight of what's happening on screen. So I can ask questions, I can post comments, and engage in the conversations that my colleagues are having, all while still being able to continue viewing the experience of what's happening on stage. I can also filter by questions and see unanswered, which helps moderators keep up to date with what's happening, what comments are coming in, and what questions still need addressing. And to help you better understand the impact of these events, we're excited to announce some new live event insights available to the event owners. So coming soon, you'll be able to see how many people attended the event right from Yammer, which segments had the greatest viewership, and where in the world and where in the business those views are coming from and detailed analytics around conversations, questions, answers, and reactions, all geared to help you discover trends and optimize your event experience for current and future live events. So we've seen quite a bit about Yammer, SharePoint, and Teams, but let's take a quick minute to talk about the engine behind live events, and that's Microsoft Stream. In the coming months, we'll be unveiling a new vision for Stream to help users work with and discover video just as they would any other file. The new stream builds upon the rich content management features of SharePoint and unlocks the intelligence of the Microsoft Graph to deliver long-awaited features, including external and anonymous sharing, integration with Microsoft Search, enhanced analytics, improved transcript quality, and new controls for security and compliance. With Microsoft Stream, the intelligent video app in Microsoft 365, you'll have a reimagined experience that's rebuilt to integrate seamlessly with applications across the suite. So you can create, share, and discover video easier than ever. Customers can start building future-proof video experiences in Microsoft 365 with SharePoint and Graph File APIs. For customers using Classic Stream, we'll support your transition to the new stream over the coming months with a phased introduction of new features, migration tools, and of course, guidance from Microsoft. Now that we're clear on our mission, let's focus on sharing information across the company and engaging people. With Microsoft 365, we can create compelling modern communications with rich storytelling tools that enable anyone to be an effective internal communicator and land their message to the right people at the right time, making it super easy to share campaigns, news, and company updates across all of your applications in just a few clicks. From a tactical approach, we can modernize communications by sending announcements with rich text, videos, polls, questions, praise, and gifts, and reach employees with targeted interactive messages that can extend across Outlook, Microsoft Teams, and SharePoint. You can use questions and announcements to reach users in their email inboxes and drive higher response rates. Remembering that the goal here is to share broadly across boundaries with persistent conversations that can be translated into upwards of 60 languages and town halls that can be watched on demand to accommodate those busy schedules in different time zones. And of course, we have the tools to help you measure your engagement with new insights for conversations, for communities and for live events. So now we're gonna show you how to make an integrated communications announcement to ensure it hits all of your channels. We'll take that news post from SharePoint and set it as an announcement in our safety community to ensure that everyone sees it and can ask questions and share feedback 
and that gives our leadership team a chance to clarify and overcome unforeseen obstacles. And I can use rich text, set it as an announcement, and get it looking just how I want. So now that it's published, I'm going to go over back into SharePoint and see how it appears on the front door of our intranet. I can see the announcement in the Yammer Conversations web part just as it's shared in Yammer. Similarly, I can go over into Outlook and see this come through as an interactive email. So I can comment on it and like it directly from my inbox. And I can similarly go into my Teams Notification Center, get a notification from Teams, whether I'm in the desktop, browser, or as you see, in the mobile experience, giving first-line workers a chance to stay in the know about important company news. With new conversation insights from Yammer, we can see which conversations perform best at a conversation or thread level so that we can measure the reach of the conversation, see potential reach, see its viewership, and get an idea of the scope of the audience. And it can help us monitor the engagement of when we post and where we post, and then give us some details on how we can best amplify those conversations, whether it's through actions like pinning a conversation or featuring a conversation. And we're excited to share that this announcement will actually begin rolling out to users in December of 2020. But we know that not all announcements are created equal. Sometimes the leadership team and corporate communications teams need to get out important announcements that they can be sure are going to reach all of their employees, whether it's to keep them safe or notify them about changing circumstances. So another new enhancement we're bringing communicators is priority announcements, which gives more control for how the email gets sent to Outlook. So you'll see how many users will receive the announcement and you'll also get an option to notify those users by email so that you can know that they're going to receive it in their inbox. And now we have new ways to share from the Yammer mobile experience as well in near real time. So from the editor, I'm gonna choose to record a video and I'm gonna upload a video of something that to me looks pretty dangerous. So I can instantly capture, review, and edit this so that I can help keep all my employees safe and really provide a learning opportunity. Here on screen, I can highlight the problem area. I can add some effects and filters. I can trim the video and really make it my own. And once this looks good, I of course can publish it directly into the community. And I can also use this feature to reply to comments, to reply to questions and, and provide a solution in the form of video to really help everyone learn. It's perfect for those situations where I want to share either what's top of mind, help train or onboard new employees, introduce or welcome new employees, and really create sharing moments that are authentic and drive a human connection with my colleagues. Leadership involvement is key for creating a thriving culture. When leaders post and engage, employees listen and join in. But sometimes leaders need just a little bit of help to be able to stay on top of everything and make time to participate in discussions. So in this scenario, Megan's a communications lead for Patty and is gonna go into the Leadership Connection community and post on behalf of her. So she can choose to send the message as herself or on behalf of Patty. She does get asked to confirm and then paste in the message and hits post. Once submitted, the message will be shared from Patty Fernandez's account. And if we were to flip into her inbox, they would both see the notification being posted by Patty and can choose to respond. So now let's take a look at our new community insights. We've heard you and we've totally refreshed our insights to create a one-stop shop for analytics to help you understand the engagement happening in your community, including the number of active people, the number of posted messages, and more. So here you can see a timeline and a visualization of the engagement that's happening within your communities. You can see active members and non-members, as well as posted messages, read messages, and reactions happening within this community. We also want you to have a better grasp around the Q&A that's happening. So we have new Q&A insights, which give you a look at trends around new questions and new answers being created over a chosen time period. We'll also show you the ratio of questions being marked with the best answer. And the chart shows the status of new questions posted in the selected date range, and those without answers 
and those marked with best answers. And with an increasing number of live events happening, we know that you need info into how these live events are performing. And our new event insights can give you a summary view of these events in your community, where you can drill down into the reach of the engagement. You can see a timeline of what's happening there during the duration of the event and see details on the demographics of where attendees are coming from and where de which departments they're working in. And of course, all of this is specific to the event engagement so that we can see details about the type of questions and reactions and get an overall snapshot of what's being asked, what's being answered, and what isn't being answered. Here's a real life example of how we're using news and featured conversations at Microsoft. Here, we have a Corp Comms account posting about a watershed moment relating to our culture early into Satya Nadella's tenure as CEO of Microsoft. And it's reaffirmed with a link to our Microsoft codebook. And Satya himself has joined in on the post to provide some perspective and reinforce our commitment to his explained culture and to our mission. And at the time when I pulled this, it already had nearly 10,000 views and dozens of reactions. And I'm sure that in the days and weeks coming, that number will continue to grow. And on to our final pillar. So now we've created our vision, aligned our organization, and are keeping our teams informed and up to date. So what's next? Innovation and growth. Innovation is driven by ideas and expertise from all parts of a company. And sometimes the best ideas come from unexpected places. So now we'll use communities to provide a platform for breaking down those silos and empowering individuals to work together and to use their collective knowledge to solve business problems and make better decisions faster. So in communities, we can connect people to share best practices, to ask questions and get answers and locate expertise within the company, to learn and develop together, uh, both with just-in-time learning and new employee onboarding, and lastly, to crowdsource ideas and solutions. So let's take a look at how this works within Microsoft 365. The fluid exchange of ideas is crucial for helping employees perform better in their roles. And in communities, it's easy to ask questions and answers. So for this example, let's take a look at our sales community. We'll submit this question, but we'll also add a topic. And we have some new improvements to this topic experience. So as I start typing Mach 3, you'll see a preview of an existing topic. But let's say we want to add a new topic. I can now create a new topic for commercial range, in this example, on the fly. And I can add in a short description to help people know what I'm talking about. And then it automatically gets added to this thread. So it looks good, and I'll go ahead and publish this. Now perhaps I want to see more of the conversations happening around this topic. So. When I go to the Mach 3 topic page, I can see all of the conversations that I have access to and see what's being said and what's happening around this topic. Whether it's polls, Q&A, or general conversations. But I can also filter this to see just the questions. Perhaps if I'm working in a community of practice and it's my job to respond to questions around this topic. So let's go back into our sales community. If you notice, there's a new section for popular topics, showing a listing of the most used topics in this community. And when I select one, it filters the conversations to show me just the conversations around that topic specific to this community. Now, last year at Ignite, we announced Project Cortex, which connects knowledge across Microsoft 365. And now when I hover over the Mach 3 topic, I see the Project Cortex card, and I can click on it to find out more details about what Mach 3 is about. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna land into Project Cortex. And here I am in the topic center. I can see who the experts are and who the people are that are talking about this topic. I can see questions and answers. Of course, I can see my Yammer conversations, but I can also see files and SharePoint pages that exist in relation to this topic to help me understand more. And then at the bottom, I see a rich graph that maps out the connections of this topic to other topics in my organization, 
with a handy legend to help me understand these relationships. We're also excited to bring another top customer request to questions and answers and live events this year, the ability to upvote answers. This feature will allow people to upvote the responses they find useful and appropriate, helping crowdsource and democratize the right answer, the right solution, and the right idea. Your employees on the front line are the eyes and ears of your organization, interacting with your product and your customers daily, giving them unique perspective and responsibility, while also overcoming unique challenges. With Teams and Yammer mobile experiences, work gets done anywhere. You can contribute and collaborate with your team, even on the go, to chat, to switch and schedule shifts, assign tasks, and even use your device as a walkie-talkie. And with the new Communities app for Teams Mobile, you can bring your entire Yammer experience into Microsoft Teams, so you can stay connected to what's happening in your communities and tap into knowledge across teams and departments and crowdsource those solutions and best practices like we talked about from the edges of the organization. For first-line workers and other deskless employees or anyone who spends time working away from their primary device, there are some core scenarios for engaging the entire organization through the mobile apps. You can send all company announcements or target specific employee resource groups and connect with others who share similar interests and experiences, whether it's about work or not. And you can, of course, connect with people while they're out in the field, out on the factory floor, or while on the go or traveling. And you can empower everyone to watch live events and share their thoughts, feedback, and unique perspective, no matter where they are in the world or where they are in the org chart. So now we've been through our employee engagement journey using Microsoft 365. We've connected across organizational boundaries and found solutions. We've worked together to answer questions and share our unique experiences. We've created dedicated front doors where employees can combine resources, files, videos, as well as discussion using SharePoint sites. And we've brought together employees from moments of high engagement to discuss and align on what's important using live events. And then of course, we've combined all of these solutions using the Hub for Teamwork, Microsoft Teams. Here's how you can find out more about employee engagement with a number of resources that we've made available. You can find out more about employee engagement, how to connect leaders to the organization, learn more about new employee onboarding scenarios and find our site template on SharePoint, and go deep on live events. And of course, keep up to date with all the latest news, updates, and roadmap items on our blogs and connect with our team directly on the Microsoft Tech community. See you next time.